ready to go at 184. Kale Sanderson, the top seed, he's a freshman from Iowa State, 37 and 0, taking on Brandon Egham of Minnesota's Golden Gophers, one of three finalists, a junior at 34 and 1. It is Sanderson and the red and blue of Iowa State. Egham and the gold of the Golden Gophers, and this is the first of three straight Minnesota finalists, and they trail. Oh, uh, Iowa by six points right now. And Sanderson, a freshman at Iowa State. What a year he has had. Dominating people. We're seeing him put people on their back and stick them. But he has not gone up against a wrestler like Egham in terms of strength yet here. Many feel Egham's strength might be the answer to solving the Sanderson. It seems that every time there's a flurry of action, a lot of motion, a lot of rolling around, Sanderson comes up on top with one of these cradles and sticks you. And so Egham likes to slow it down. He wrestles just from a few positions. Makes it very hard to open up and get into a lot of flurrying action. So we're seeing a contrast in styles here. Kale Sanderson, 37 and 0 right now on the year. 32 of his wins have come either by major decision or pen. Here at the tournament, three wins by a pen. The other was an 18 to 6 victory. And just to add the icing, 22 and 0 against any NCAA qualifier, qualifier throughout the year. And there you see it. He's got the leg, but the strength of Egham there, able to pull that ankle pick back. Sanderson likes motion, likes to create opportunities through movement. Egham likes to bind, and then off of that bind, explode. 14 points for a victory. Minnesota right now in second place, trailing Iowa by six points. Jay Robinson, the head coach. Minnesota had his team runner up last year to Iowa, third to Iowa two years ago. Now poised to overtake Iowa if they can get their horses to run. It's one of the few times you see the Hawkeyes root for the Cyclones, but it's happening right now because of the team battle for first place. And Egham's got to be feeling himself as really the leadoff wrestler. They've got to take this final phase of the championship almost as a dual meet because the next three wrestlers are from Minnesota. And that's something that they did in addition with the weight rule is during a dual meet, anytime during the year, they flipped the corner, they actually drew out of a hat a weight class, and that's where they would start. So that the one hour rule was passed around to all weight classes. Sanderson gets the first prize. Went back to that same ankle pick, and this time he got it. And this is where he's been a tear, he's been on top. Some people feel that because of the freestyle influence, wrestling in this country and our folklore style is really going towards takedowns. But Sanderson here likes to wrestle on the mat. He's a pinner. He'd rather keep it right down here and try to turn it. Final 10 seconds of the opening period. Kale Sanderson has an opening on Egham, a two to nothing two, lead. One, five, three. Don't count this one over just yet. Second period at Penn State in just a moment. Welcome back to Penn State. Lon McCarron along with Jeff Blatnick, Kale Sanderson down on the bottom here with a 2 0 lead on Brandon Egham of Minnesota. Sanderson, the Big 12 wrestler. Egham out of the Big 10 and the Big 10 champion. Minnesota Golden Gophers has been forever since anybody's been able to say that. 25 years in a row, Iowa held that title. That just goes to show that Minnesota is making the steps that it needs to do to compete with Iowa, if not beat Iowa, in a national tournament. And many this year feeling Oklahoma State, Minnesota were the top two teams to give Iowa much of a chance here at the national tournament. But they're wrestling well. Referee Jim Ramirez with caution or stalling against Egham and another one. And so a point awarded to Sanderson. 3-0 now, Kale Sanderson, Iowa State. And there, Jay Robinson and Bobby Douglas, the head coach of the Cyclones, Iowa State. And I, I really like Sanderson's style. It's wide open. He takes many different holes. He used that two-on-one to just drive make him out of bounds there. Very offensively oriented, just naturally an attacker. Doesn't calculate much. He goes out and lays it right on the line. And again, he's in on the ankle of Egham. Jay Robinson, you caught a glimpse of the Minnesota head coach a moment ago. Knows this is a pivotal match. But two more points go to Sanderson. Pivotal, pivotal. And the fact that if they don't get within two points from Iowa, it means they have to win their last two matches of the night. One of those, both of them, against.
Giants, former national champions. That is correct. Uh, Hartung will have full heart of Iowa, which is definitely a key match. Hartung has to win. And then the heavyweight. It's been a long time since the national championship came down to the heavyweight final. It will be Brock Lesnar from Minnesota and our returning champion, Stephen Neal of Bakersfield. Right now, nine seconds to go, second period. Kale Sanderson looking to increase his mark on the year to 38 and 0 and give himself the national championship as a freshman. We end the second period. Five to nothing. Sanderson on top of Ego. And now the Minnesota fans start to awaken. Jay Robinson, he's the architect of this current Minnesota program. Third two years ago, second last year. Could this be the year? Kale Sanderson with two other brothers on his Iowa State Cyclone team. All three, Kale, Cole, and Cody, qualified for this tournament. They're the first family of Utah wrestling right now. And right now, Kale Sanderson behind Brandon Eggum. And so composed, the freshman sitting here just so composed. Yeah, he almost looks like he's smiling right there. He's got a lot of reason, five reasons to smile right now, but he's got a minute 22 before that can really break out. And what this does, if it hangs on this way, and we're getting a hard way in front of the horse to flat, is with a freshman, if he wins a national title, setting up for perhaps the second four-time national champion. The second with Lincoln McElroy, OSU, Oklahoma State having the first with Pat Smith. Who knows? But this is an fresh, this is an impressive freshman. He's got a great coach in Bobby Douglas. He's got family around him, so I'm sure he feels comfortable there. Who knows? Scott could be the limit with him. He cuts him loose. Egan with the first point of the match, 5-1. Riding time also in the corner of Kale Sanderson. It, I swear Sanderson is smiling right now. He's enjoying this. No pressure, it seems. You have to love what you do when you perform as well as he does. And we heard them talking. They say, yeah, we talked about Roman. They said they're having lots of fun. They're doing this, showing off and bringing their program back. And it seems as though Sanderson here, and of course the Iowa State Cyclones, seem to be on that big comeback trail to national prominence. Five seconds to go. Before Kale Sanderson can make it official. He might have back points. But no, he doesn't need it. Kale Sanderson, the freshman from Iowa State, gets riding time and a 6 to 1 victory over Minnesota's Brandon Eggum. And it is this freshman who has been so impressive, remains undefeated on this year. He was a Big 12 champ, first time All American. First-time national champion from Iowa State. It was expected all year long into the hands of Chris Bono, Bobby Douglas of Iowa State, and he did have a bit of a smirk breaking out in the last 30 seconds of that match against Eggum. He enjoyed every moment of it, and he deserved every win. 38 of them. Our top seed is our champion here at Penn State, and Jeff Blatnick is with it. Thank you, Lon Kale, freshman, undefeated season, national championship. Did you really feel this was possible? I don't know, but it happened. So, there's not much I can say. I'm, I'm just ecstatic. Do you feel this is the start of an Iowa Cyclone era? Definitely. We're going to be the team to beat for the next five years. I'm looking forward to that. How, what, is, what kind of feeling do you carry inside knowing you have two brothers competing on the same team at the same time with you? Um, it's great, but our team's so close, everyone, you know, we're all like brothers. So, it's great. Well, Kale, congratulations, tremendous job. We're going to be looking for you next year. Have fun. Rob? All right. Well, it's going to be a long story unfolding. Kale Sanderson of Iowa State with a national championship. We'll be back. 197 pounds is next. It's make or break for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. It could seal a win for Iowa. Stay with us. We'll be right back.